Ben, as you can see, the Office 365 groups are really a fantastic way to collaborate with the rest of your group on whatever project it is you're working on, as long as you're sitting in front of your computer. But a lot of the time, we're away from our computer and all we have is our smartphone. Mm. So let me show you what you can do with the Office 365 Groups mobile app. All right. So let's take a look at how we can access groups on our mobile device. First of all, you want to go to your app store, either on Android or iPhone or iPad, and download the app simply called Groups from Microsoft. The icon looks like this. It's a blue square with three little icons of people. When you open Groups for the first time, it's going to ask you to log in. I've already done that with our Office 365 credentials, so now it's bringing up our Groups. Now here we've got four Groups available. We've added two since the last time we stopped. The one we've been working in the most is the DF Sales. Now before I go into that group, let's look at a couple of other things we can do here from the Groups app home screen. One is I can look at my notifications. This would be my notifications across all of my groups. I don't currently have any, so there's nothing there. If I wanted to search for other groups in my Office 365 tenant, I can use this search function here. Now, we don't have any others that I'm not currently a member of, so it's not finding anything. I can also use this general search feature to search across all of my groups. And finally, I can use the menu in the top to change my settings and to get help and feedback. Let's go back to our group screen. If I wanted to add a new group, I can do that with the plus symbol here. I'm not going to do that just now. So let's go back into our DF Sales group. Now, what I see here in the mobile app is I see some parts of the group's platform. So for starters, I see my conversations. So this is mostly the connectors that we've added, bringing in news feeds from Twitter and from Bing, just like we discussed. But if we go down far enough, we'll see the conversations from you and me as well. So there's the conversations we had back here. And if I wanted to add to this conversation, I can choose reply and type something in here. If I wanted to share it, I can choose share and copy the link. Then I can send that out with Facebook or email or something else. I've already liked that, so I can't like it again. But I could go back and like something else. And again, like will help it bubble up to the top in things like Delve. If I go back to the top, I can see that DF Sales is a public group. I can see that it has one member, currently just me. We kicked you out just a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. In my ellipsis, I can change how I get notifications or I can edit the group. And then down here in the top header, I can access files for the group. So if I choose files, these are all the files that we've added to that group. If there were a lot of them, I could use the search function. In this case, there's only two. Then I can also access the notebook for this group. So if I click on the notebook link, it's going to open my OneNote mobile app yeah. and open the notebook that's associated with that group. I'll go back to my home screen and back into my groups. But you notice there's one feature missing. Yes, the calendar. That's right. So the group calendar is not available through the group's application. You can access it from your Outlook mobile app, though. And we think they may add the calendar to the group's app at some time in the future. But right now, it's not there. Gotcha. So that is your group's mobile app. All right. So that's where the mobile app is today. Now, keep in mind, there's some features that are different from the Android app to the iPhone app to the web app to the desktop app. You'll see some of those features evolve over time. So some of the features that aren't on some of the platforms will move to those platforms. Microsoft is always adding new features, just like they do with the rest of Office 365. So mm -hmm. it's a work in progress, but it's already pretty cool, and I'm excited to see where they go with it in the future. Gotcha. So it's constantly changing, but works. That's right.